built on Doravos. 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 It's. You, you can instead of saying Dugo, you can say Drybox. Drybox. Like you know, like dry. Yeah, it's dry. Like, yeah, yeah. Drybox. Drybox. Right. Okay. So it's got the same meaning as Dugo box. Dugo. Dugo means dry. Dugo. <laughs> so try it again. Dvorak. Dvorak. Okay. Drivers. Drivers. I'll, I'll, I'll go, I'll go drivers. 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 Okay. <laughs>so uh, today we're doing a taste test I'm here with my friend Vili and uh, he's brought some stuff uh, from South Africa a couple items and then we also have a couple beverages uh, that are from here in China and actually one that originated in Thailand so we'll get to those in a second but let's start uh, with the first thing which is this and this is called biltong is that right Will? It's biltong yes. Biltong and apparently this is uh, usually beef and it's usually like a large piece of beef that's been heavily salted and then hung up to dry. And then they cut it down into little tiny pieces like this. And I guess it's kind of like beef jerky. It's close to beef jerky, yes. Yeah. Um, a little bit different, the process, but yeah, basically beef jerky. Okay, well, I'm gonna give it a quick, quick try. Hmm. Very tender. Hmm. Hmm. You say it's a big piece of meat? Hmm. Yeah, it is, but it comes out at the end like this. <laughs> After it's been dry, oh my God. you lose about seventy-five percent of your <laughs> of the meat. Wow! Well, not of the meat. No, the, meat the, like the, the, the water that's in it mm. gets sucked out, so you lose a lot. The size you lose. Sorry, there we go. It's the size that you lose. So it must be. I'm gonna have a little bit more of that. The um, so really, all that you're you're just losing the water, but the salt must be what keeps it really tender. Though. Yes, and that's, that's what so also tender. preserves it. Mm. So it can last for month, two months, you know, before it might go off. If it's damp, it might go off quicker. Mm. Mm, wow. Yeah. Mm, that's excellent. Well, let's go ahead, since I'm still chewing a little bit, let's go ahead and take a look at one of the drinks. So this right here, this is, from what I've been told, basically Chinese Coke. Uh, I guess before Coca-Cola came to China, they had this. I don't know what it's called, except it's kind of like Chinese Coke. So um, let's give this let me ask a quick try. If it's like Coke, where's No fizz! No, where's the fizz? No, <laughs> <laughs> no. That's not right. Chinese Coke. Come now. Oh, it, it smells like tea. Smell that. That smells weird. Okay, I'll, Chinese Coke tea. Oh, no. We're gonna, we're gonna split this, so I'm gonna waterfall this. It's like tea. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Okay, so no. I'm gonna be honest. This tastes like this tastes like sweet tea from America. It really does. This tastes exactly like sweet tea. It's basically an iced tea. It really is. Nothing like Coke. It has a little bit of a honey flavor to it as mm, well. Yeah, yeah. Not not bad, but certainly not anything Coke like. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's not for me. I can understand why Coke came to came came. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well let's. Let's snap off a little bit. Okay, so this this is and I'm gonna butcher this so badly. <laughs> this is called uh, drivos, which I guess basically just means like dried meats, dried beef yes. sort of thing. It it can use apparently from what uh, Vili has told me, it can be either beef or uh, venison, yes. right? Um, yeah. yeah. So um, like Brian said, mm -hmm. so normally it's made of beef. Uh, so it's mince. They add a little bit of fat in it to give it a little bit of thickness, you know, um, so there's something to chew on as well, because again, the, the size of the, the meat becomes smaller, but the fat stays the same, um, but your best kind of dugovos, which is how we call it in South Africa, um, is actually your venison meat, so if you get springbok, kudu, it's just really, it's so much better than your beef. You, Whenever you're in South Africa, try and get dugovos and Try and get the venison taste. You'll pay. Uh, sorry, you'll pay a little bit more, but the venison tastes a lot better. I can imagine. Well, I'm going to be honest. It smells amazing. 
Mm, I'm not sure what spices or seasonings or whatever they have. The smell is amazing. Mm. Mm, that's really good. Mm. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Now, isn't this close to your beef jerky? Not really. It's very similar. It's similar to like a sweet, like a sweeter beef jerky. But I'm going to be honest, this is better than any sweet beef jerky I've ever had. I'm totally honest. <laughs> that, mm, that is spectacular. I do plan on eating the whole thing. So no, that's okay. fine. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to continue on. That is spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. Um, okay, let's, because we're running out of time. We got this last item here. This is called Carabao. And this is the item that actually originated in Thailand. And uh, also, fun fact, apparently they sponsor the Chelsea uh, football team, or soccer, for those of you in America. Um, so, yeah, this is an energy drink. Apparently it's super, super potent. It makes Red Bull look like, I guess, you know, Mountain Dew, or some other, like, just cola. Uh, so, apparently this stuff is pretty brutal. So let's, uh, let's give it a... Alright, well that's a bit more fizz, so... Ooh, can I smell that? Smell? Oh god, it smells like jet fuel. <laughs> it smells like fizzes. Sorry, fizzes is a sweet we get in South Africa. Oh, okay. It's like these long candy sweets. It smells oh, exactly like that. that's probably like the shoestrings that we have in the States. Okay, can, okay, yeah, yeah. they're kind of sour. They have like no, sour no, stuff a little bit. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, good God. <laughs> it's that bad. Oh my God. Was that good? I can I can feel I can feel power coursing through my veins. It's a bit droopy. The can, sorry. Mm. It's thick as well. Like not like noticeably like pouring it mm. out and be thick, but like when it's in you, you can tell it's thick. Oh, it's a lot like Red Bull, just less fizzy. Yeah, yeah. Very little, very little of any carbonation really. That's sour. Yeah, it's got, it, get, it gets you a little bit back here, yeah. Well, not overly pleasant. Well, uh, of these four, of these items, obviously, you didn't try, but you know what the Biltong and Dordovos taste like. Um, what what is here is your is your favorite and least favorite item? Mm. Okay, least favorite, easy. For me, it will be the tea. <laughs> the Chinese cold. So, sorry, the Chinese cold. Chinese cold. <laughs> um, but it's it's a tie between my favorite, which is definitely the Biltong and Dugo box. This, yeah. I, I, I'm right with you there. Definitely. My least favorite, Carabao. Not, that's, that, no. Um, hands down, without a doubt, the uh, Dorobos. Yeah, Hopefully I said, there we go. I said it right. All right. Before, before we started, I must have butchered that word about half a dozen times. Uh, but yeah, this definitely, hands down, without a doubt, my favorite thing that I've had today. So thank you for bringing a bit of that back. No and um, I guess until next time, thanks for watching. And uh, see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Hello everybody, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, be sure to hit that like button down below and share it on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, all that different stuff. Don't forget to also leave a comment down below if you're feeling a bit chatty. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can see more of my videos. So until next time, bye.